Yes, hello everyone. Welcome again to this channel. I want to continue appreciating the good work that you are continuing to do when it comes to supporting the analysis of this channel. So thank you so much. I'm so much humbled. I'm so grateful. So welcome. Now, campaign cash fight disrupts Kenya Kwanza Alliance unity. As Kenya Kwanza Alliance is concerned, several political parties signed the MOU coalition agreement to ensure that they are going to work together. And of course, they are having 14 political parties that has formed Kenya Kwanza Alliance. And these big boys political parties are these for William Samaruto, UDA party, and Musali Amdava DNC party, and Ford Kenya Moses Wetangula. Now, the issue is coming in Kenya Kwanza Alliance. When it comes to these funds that maintains their campaigns across the Republic of Kenya. As you know that they are fighting and also ensuring that to encounter Raila Amolo Odinga, I think they must work harder, work as unity to ensure that they are going to uh, defeat Raila Amolo Odinga. But Kenyans, this not so. Uh, this was just introduction. What we are going to talk about, as you know, that campaign cash fight is continuing to describe Kenya Kwanza Alliance. But I have prepared some four issues that is bringing Kenya Kwanza Alliance in trouble when it comes to the agreement with these other small political parties, the way they call them. But without wasting time, before we start, we always do like this. If you are a visitor, ensure that you subscribe. You put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, you get notified automatically by YouTube. Of course, in this channel, we always analyze pure politics. We give our opinions, reasons, the way we understand politics across the Republic of Kenya. So welcome. now. Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance is having division and wrangles underwater that you see some people are not understanding, understanding they're just being seen going across the Republic of Kenya, campaigning in various counties, 47 counties. But Kenyans, there is truth behind the scene when it comes to campaign a trail disruption where there are several issues that are hindering certain individuals in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance feeling like they are not comfortable in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. So number one, zoning. Zoning is bringing a lot of challenge in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, not only in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance but also in Azimio. But today I have decided to talk about uh, 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 Kenya Kwanzaa because uh, you see some people will say that also zoning is bringing a lot of problem in as, as me, I have I've accepted but now zoning is contributing a lot of wrangles in Kenya Kwanzaa lands where the leader of UDA party has been uh, seen in Rift Valley campaigning and insisting to his people that they must vote for those candidates with UDA party you know, nomination ticket and also after talking uh, this and claiming UDA party strong or any political party should not uh, feel a candidate I think is causing as like is diminishing these other political parties that are in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance so I think that is why you see uh, Mwangi Kiyunjuri and other political parties are coming out saying that this zoning is contributing a lot of shame when it comes to their political parties 
that signed agreement of Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. Number two, they are complaining that they are being mistreated by the people called big boys in quotes, this political party of UDA party, NC party, Ford Kenya party. That these other political party like TSP party, Chama Chakazi, um, uh, Maendeleo Chap Chap, uh, DP party, Chama Cha um, Tujibebe Wote party for Kabogo. They are complaining that they are being mistreated, not consulted, no even recognition when it comes to the political trail in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. Then number three is that some of them are being locked out from addressing the crowds where they always attend rallies of Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. People like Mwangi Kinjuri and some other political parties that are in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. Because as you know, in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, there are 14 political parties, but it is like only six political parties are participating strong when it comes to campaign of Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. It is not so because they are claiming they are being locked out from addressing the crowds of Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. Then number four and last, they are claiming that there are several uh, helicopters that was bought to fund their campaigns while traveling long distance campaign where for example someone they are in Nairobi and they should campaign in maybe Nyanza, Western or Coastal, they should use these choppers. But they are saying that the condition that has been put on place that only these big boys are the only to use these choppers. It means that if your political party are small, you might not use these choppers to campaign across the Republic of Kenya because they are complaining that their leaders of these political parties should be ferried by these choppers so that when it comes to consolidating the base of William Samaruta across the Republic of Kenya, it was going to be easier. Number five and last, they are complaining that money for campaign is not well and equally distributed among them when it comes to their political activities to try to consolidate William Samuruto's base across these 47 counties. So Kenyans, what are your thoughts? Is it true that this issue is based on these political parties that are being mistreated? or they are just spreading, spreading propagandas. So, when it comes to money and resources to fund this campaign, I think someone that is allocating this money, not only treasurer or secretary, but it is the leader of Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, that is William Samuruto. So if he has decided that these other political parties are not going to be given money to fund their campaigns for consolidating his base, I think it is up to William Samuel. So Kenyans, what are your thoughts? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Bye-bye till you meet on another video.